Welcome to Craig's Gun Channel. Lucid Optics is a firearms accessory company started in 2009 by Jason Wilson. Prior to starting Lucid, Jason was the product manager for Brunton Optics, which gave him valuable insight into the world of optics and gear aimed at the shooting sports enthusiast. Seeing a need for high quality affordable gear able to meet the specific needs of shooters ranging from military, competition, and recreational shooters is what drove him to create the company. Since the release of their first product, the HD7 Red Dot Sight, they have continually refined and expanded their line, which now includes not only red dot sights, but also a variety of magnified optical sights, lights, spotting scopes, binoculars, and other accessories. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at one of their newer products, the M7 Micro Red Dot. If you're already familiar with Lucid products, it may come as a surprise to you that this is a new product. Don't worry, you're not confused. This is a redesign and re-release of the M7. The original design was released around 2013 and used a AAA battery for power and featured a 2 MOA dot within a 25 MOA circle. It had seven brightness levels which could be controlled manually or automatically with a built-in light sensor. It would shut itself off after two hours of vid activity to conserve power. It was made of cast aluminum with a built-in rail mount and had tethered elevation windage and battery caps. Overall, however, Lucid was not fully satisfied with how it turned out and thought that they could do better. So they made the decision to remove the product from their inventory in 2015 while they worked on perfecting it. That effort took longer than anticipated as they wanted to ensure the final product would meet expectations. And it was not until 2020 that the new design was ready and released for sale. The new M7 is a much more refined design than its predecessor. It's constructed with a hard-code anodized aluminum housing utilizing a modular mounting system with three available height risers allowing for a customizable yet stable mounting solution. The turret caps have been eliminated and instead flush mount adjustment controls are utilized. It comes in at 2.6 inches long and weighs 4.4 ounces. It's parallax free past 8 feet and has a 25 millimeter objective and 20 millimeter ocular lenses which are fully broadband multi-coated. The units are nitrogen purged to be fog proofed and are IPX8 waterproofed. This rating means it's been tested to withstand submersion in more than one meter of water. Power comes from a 2032 battery rated at up to 1500 hours as opposed to the original AAA. The AAA option on the original was a great idea at the time as they were very common and could be found almost everywhere, unlike the 2032 at that time. However, times have changed and the 2032 is now also a very common battery. It uses Lucid's M5 reticle, a combination of a 4 MOA center dot with a 32 MOA circle, coupled with two 14 MOA lines set at a 45 degree angle. This reticle design helps to drive the eye to the target, improving sighting reaction times by up to 25% over conventional dot systems. There are 11 illumination settings, covering brightness levels from bright noonday sun all the way to settings compatible with night vision gear. Here's uh, brightness level 11, and I'm going to start going down uh, brightness level one at a time, uh, moving down until we get to around level five, where it pretty much disappears in daylight. Once it's dark, however, we can see that even looking at brightness uh, level one, uh, that it really stands out. And as we go up in levels, uh, once you get to around level five, it actually becomes too bright to use for nighttime. Using night vision, uh, the lowest illumination setting, level one, actually works very well. Going to level two, it actually starts to blow out the image a little bit. One thing I do want to make sure I point out that in all of these video clips I have of the reticle, uh, on the, the actual screen that you're looking at, it looks like it might be distorted or kind of fuzzy. In actual use to the eye, it, it's actually very crisp. Uh, this is mostly a limitation of my camera equipment. We've taken the M7 out to the range using a couple of different platforms and found that it is quick on target, providing a very effective sight picture. The reticle is crisp, and regardless of the lighting conditions we've used it in, it always stood out allowing for quick follow-up shots if needed. So far I'm very pleased with this optic. The M7 comes in with a suggested retail price of $309.99, with street prices coming in under $250. It's intended to provide top-level performance at an affordable price, and I think it delivers on that. I hope that this information is of value. 
And if you liked the video, I would ask that you hit the like button and subscribe if you want to continue to see more like this. I value your comments and feedback, and as always, until next week, stay safe.